guys, it's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back on YouTube after four weeks, five weeks. I don't even know anymore. Today I'm filming my updated everyday makeup routine tutorial. My 2022 makeup. The makeup that I do pretty much every single day. Yeah, I haven't done an updated makeup routine in a while, so... That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna have every single product listed in the description below. If you guys see something that you like, you know, it's right there, right here. Look at this, I got these hair clips and I'm so excited to use them because you guys know I like to wear my hair down, but I don't like it when my hair is like in my face. Should I wear the pink or the black? I think the pink. As you guys can see, I'm not in my usual filming spot and that's because I've been I mean, I don't really know why. I just really love filming in front of this really big window. I'm in my bedroom, by the way. I don't know if you guys ever see my bedroom, but this is my Angelana's bedroom and it has a huge window. And I like doing my makeup in front of here because I just like this lighting. How cute are these clips? So cute. I'm not in my usual filming spot, so I had to bring my makeup on this thing. All my makeup is in here. Okay, let's get started. What should I pick up first from the platter? <laughs> you guys know this, but instead of primer, I really enjoy using a setting spray as primer. I've recently been loving these. These are from LH Cosmetics. This is the Prep Fix and Refresh Setting Spray, and I just go in, go crazy. That smells really, really good. It's kind of like minty or like fresh. I don't know, I like it. I actually haven't really been using foundation. Um, I pretty much only use concealer on my face. I use a couple of different shades. I use one for contour, I use one for covering, and I use one for highlighting. So I always first go in with the contouring one. This is the Eye Bright Concealer by Makeup Revolution, and this is in the shade Caramel. So this is the shade that I use for contouring, and I just place some dots on my face i do them on my cheekbones on my forehead and then i always like to do this cute little like nose contour bronze thingy and also on my lip because it makes it look like you're wearing lip liner and then i just use this um brush from morphe and i just blend this in you guys, I've been away for so long. I think it has been like four weeks or five weeks or something. I think that's the longest I've ever gone without filming a YouTube video. I just really needed a break from YouTube. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I need a little bit of a break. When I film YouTube videos, I want to feel good about them, you know? Like I want to put my full energy into them and just really think like, oh my god, I love this video that I filmed. Um, and I didn't really have that, so I took a little break, but I'm back. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a lighter color. This is in the shade Tan, and I use this shade for um, covering. So I put it underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna cover these bad boys up. <laughs> and then I also put it on my nose, and then I have some pimples. I don't really know if you guys can tell, but I'm gonna cover them up. And then I take my beauty sponge and I just blend this in. Um, and then I go in with a highlighter. Well, this is the shade medium yellow, but I use this kind of like to highlight my face. So I put this underneath my eyes. I kind of like it when it's a little bit brighter under here. And then I put it right here on the tip of my nose. And then I think that's it. And this is super highlighting. Let me show you guys, like it's really brightening. Do you see that? And then after I blend this out, I'm gonna go in with my powder straight away because my concealer always creases. It doesn't matter what concealer I use. For powder, I'm using this Huda Beauty powder. I think this is one of my favorite powders because it makes my skin so just like smooth. I just take out the back of the sponge, just kind of go in and set that down. Then the base makeup is almost finished. We just have one more step to go. Actually, two steps. Bronzer. I know I went in with a cream bronzer, but I do always love to go in with a powder bronzer. Actually, I don't have a bronzer brush, so let me get up and get it. got my bronzer brush i'm using my favorite bronzer which is the anastasia beverly hills saddle bronzer the color is just gorgeous so i just um take a little bit of that and then i go on top of the bronzer that i just applied i have a big ass pimple coming up here and i do kind of like to look a little bit orange so i go in with a lot of bronzer <laughs> This is the last step of my base before we move on to our eyes, okay? But I'm going to do some fake freckles. You guys know that I love to do fake freckles. 
I talk about them all the time. So the first thing that I do is I put some bronzer down first on the place that I'm gonna put my freckles. It makes you look sun-kissed and it makes the freckles look so much more natural. So I put that there and then I take this brow gel. This is the Kosas Air Brow Brow Gel. I don't know, a tinted brow gel in the color medium brown. And then I take this and I just literally go in with the brow gel and I kind of put some dots down like that. And then I take my finger, look at this. And it kind of blends out your freckles and it creates like more because obviously like you have the brow gel on your finger. Just put as many as you want and it looks so natural when you do it like this. Actually, let's lock this in place. This is the other setting spray from LH Cosmetics. This is the on set long lasting setting spray. For my brows, I either use a brow gel, one of these two, or I use Soap Brow, which is this. Actually, let's do this one today. Yeah, okay. So what you do, you just take some of your setting spray or your face mist or whatever. You can even use water, but I like to use a setting spray because I feel like it'll hold your brows in place even better. And then you go in with a little spoolie like this. I just bend mine like that so I can really get in there. And you just swirl it around. And then you have this on your brush. And hold on, let me get mirror actually because I have to see what I'm doing. Um, and you just take this through your brows. Like I just brush them up like this. Push them up like that. Hello. <laughs> you guys know that I like my eyebrows very bushy. So I try to brush up the hairs as much as possible i go back to that bronzer from anastasia and i just use a big fluffy brush from ColourPop, and i put that in my crease and i kind of blend it down onto my lid as well okay eyeshadow is on and then i take my liner brush this is the ColourPop e11 brush i always get so <clears throat> I always get so many questions about this. ColourPop E11, I use this for my eyeshadow liner. Just a quick tip, if you guys have trouble with your eyeshadow liner staying all day or it kind of like crumbles or it's a little bit like powdery or you get fallout, then you need to use a setting spray. Literally makes it stay all day. For my um, eyeshadow liner, I literally just use any brown, black, gray, dark green eyeshadow, just something that's very dark. So I first do my liner right here on the outside, go in with the brush, kind of drag it out like that, then connect this line to that line. That's the wing done, and then I kind of bring that up a little bit right here onto my lid. Just take the brush, put it there, and draw that line. And that's it. Do you guys see the difference? Okay, then I go in with my mascara. Really been liking this one, Benefit Bad Gal Bang, the waterproof version. Go in and do a couple of coats of that. The mascara is done. This is what my lashes look like right now. I kind of like my lashes to look kind of spidery a little bit. Now the only thing left is lips and I pretty much use something different for my lips every single day because I actually have a thousand lip liners and a thousand lip glosses and lipsticks and everything. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in Pil Pillow Talk 2 medium and I just overline my lips with this. I really like this color. It's kind of like a deep mauvey pink. I really need to sharpen this, but I literally don't have a pencil sharpener. Like how bad is that? I'm like, I'm, I'm literally a beauty blogger, vlogger, beauty influencer, and I don't have a pencil sharpener. I had one, but it got lost when we moved house. So I wanted to buy a new one, but I never did because we've been living in this house for seven months, five, six, six months, um, and I still don't have one, so. And I love this lip lip gloss. I was gonna say lipstick. Lip gloss, Fenty Beauty in the color Fussy. It's super shiny. Okay, the setting spray is still drying, but oh my god, I love my makeup today. It looks so good. Wow. Should I wear my hair like this or tuck it behind my ears? I don't know. Let me actually stand up. 
You have some better lighting over here. This is the lighting that I'm talking about. Look at this. I'm literally just gonna hold my phone up right here because the lighting is so bomb. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my updated everyday makeup routine. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what video I should film next. And let me know if you love how my makeup turned out today because I freaking love it. Okay, I love you guys. Subscribe, like, comment, everything. You know the drill. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at Georgina Joanita. And I will see you guys back in my next YouTube video. Bye. Mwah.